Hi Sagittarius, it's True Goddess Tarot and I'm here to do an energy check-in for you at this time. The cards are already pre-shuffled with your energies, now let's go ahead and get into it. Spirit, please give us clear, guided, and divine insight into what our lovely Sagittarius are experiencing at this time. What are our lovely Sagittarius experiencing at this time? Remember, take what resonates, leave what does not. And if the story doesn't fit, I will catch you on the next one, okay? Wow. Okay. So we'll take it. <laughs> take a little story here. We have the Four of Cups, the Moon, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower. The Nine of Swords, the Four of Wands, and then the Page of Cups. So right off the bat, I see that you might feel a little unsatisfied with your current situation. However, there is a cup here that either has been presented to you or will be presented to you very soon. And this is something that you potentially have been dreaming of, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is something that you can't see currently at this moment in time. Um, I will say that we are in a new moon window currently as I am doing this reading, the Virgo new moon, and I believe there is a Pisces new moon to come at the end of the month. So please um, pay attention to what unfolds during this full moon that will be coming later this month, okay? Um, it does look like there will be a major shift in your life. It looks like um, this is um, something that is absolutely divinely guided here with the tower right next to you. Um, something will be taken away or fallen away from your life that probably really stressed you out. And, you know, this major change here might leave you with a little bit of anxiety or sleepless nights, but ultimately you will be very stable and be in, in a harmonious energy moving forward, okay? Um, this could have something to do with your work or career or finances here with the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck doesn't have to be this is general so take it how it resonates but let's go ahead and get into this what is the underlying energy of the moon for Sagittarius so <clears throat> we have the page of wands and the king of pentacles this looks like a stable offer some new adventure that you are ready to embark on here um this could be in regards to love or this could be in regards to a work contract that you might be receiving here with this so take it how it resonates um what is this wheel of fortune what is this underlying energy of the wheel oh yeah we have the fool so um this is also aries energy this is a new beginning whether it's mentally physically emotionally spiritually could be all of the above so take it how it resonates but this is something that you possibly have been wishing on so that is absolutely gorgeous what is this tower what is this underlying tower energy for sagittarius Okay, you have so many messages that want to come out, Sag. I just want one card. <laughs> what is this underlying tower energy? Oh my gosh, so the page of pentacles wanted to come out. So yes, it looks like you are manifesting this new solid offer that is about to shake your world up. 
What is this Nine of Swords underlying energy? Yeah, so it looks like you have been stressing on when you're going to receive this because you are ready to take off here. You're ready to build a new solid foundation here. You're ready to collaborate with, you know, these new people in your life or these new energies in your life. What is the Four of Wands? So if this is in regards to love, you might be feeling left out at the moment. However, I do see possibly a new harmonious relationship coming in. Somebody who's very grounded and stable emotionally here. They could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio doesn't have to be. Um, other energies we have is Cancer energy right here. Aries, Pisces. Um, this is fixed energy, which is Scorpio Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. The tower is, I believe, it's linked with Pluto, so more Scorpio energy here as well. Um, we do have some earth, fire, water, more earth, more fire, more water. So take it how it resonates. You could have these signs in your chart, or you could be dealing with somebody in, in with those signs in their chart. But ultimately, Whatever, if this isn't in regards to love, this is going to be an emotionally stabilizing new venture for you, which is gorgeous. It's going to bring you a lot of success, okay? You will be seen. Now let's get into these cards a little deeper. What is this Four of Cups for Sagittarius? What is this Four of Cups? Yeah, so... You will be receiving a new passionate offer or you will be starting a new business um, or this could be love. You could be receiving a love offer, but whatever this is, um, this is something that you are going to do and pursue with a lot of love here, which is gorgeous. And then on the bottom of the deck we have temperance which is your card Sagittarius so that's absolutely gorgeous um, just really alchemize your emotions at this time be patient because this will be happening in divine timing okay now let's check out this page of cups what is this page of cups yeah so you might be a little confused on what to do when this offer comes through. Um, the devil is at the bottom of the deck. So this is something you are ready to release this attachment here to whatever you felt chained to. This is also Capricorn energy as well. Um, this could be also addictions, um, toxic habits, any toxic environment you might be surrounded in, but it looks like you are just ready to really move forward and collaborate into some new ventures here. So um, don't be confused, take your time, meditate on it, figure it, figure out exactly what you want. What is this moon? So we have the page of swords here. So you will be learning a lot about whatever this new offer is that's going to come in for you. Really take your time and figure out if it's really what you want okay but definitely take control of of the opportunity when it arises okay what is the page of wands and the king of pentacles for sagittarius oh my gosh this three of pentacles okay so yeah definitely um, build your foundations, okay? Really collaborate with the people who you are surrounded with and 
just, you know, like I said, learn a lot. Learn as much as you can before you jump into any of these decisions. And there might be a little bit of delays, but these delays are in order just so you can gain the proper perspective that you need at this time, okay? What is this Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius? Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius, please. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have death. So yeah, you will be ending a major cycle in your life and you are rebirthing and transforming into something completely new here. You are releasing any of these toxic chains that you've been a part of and you are really moving forward as light as air, okay? What is this fool? Yeah, you will be receiving your karmic justice here. Balance will be restored and you can see the future potential ahead. What is this tower? What is this tower for Sagittarius? What is this tower spirit? What is this tower spirit, please? Yeah, so you will be working really hard to bring forth this new offer here and the hanged man is at the bottom of the deck again so like I said there might be a little bit of delays until this actually happens but like I said with this full moon card right here pay attention to what transpires because this offer might be coming through around that time what is this page of pentacles for Sagittarius Okay, this wants to come out. Yeah, uh, Spirit wants you to really rest, recover, meditate, clear your mind because the choice is coming, Sagittarius. That choice is coming, okay? <laughs> what is this Nine of Swords for Sagittarius? Yeah, so really embody your courageous energy your strength your stamina tame this anxiety or any of this negative energy you might be experiencing okay because you, look you're moving on forward regardless okay so don't stress please what is the chariot for Sagittarius Oh my god, yeah. So you are moving forward to a new emotionally fulfilling offer here that is going to really help bring forth your legacy, your abundance, happy family, happy life, all things amazing here. So all good things take time, Sag. Now let's get this Four of Wands. What is this Four of Wands? So, yeah, you might feel a little internal conflict here, or you might be experiencing conflict with your partner here. doesn't have to be, take it how it resonates, but really alchemize these emotions. Again, your energy right here. Get into alignment with your energy, Sag. You know exactly how to do it. What is this King of Cups? What is this King of Cups? Yeah, so you need to make an emotionally grounded decision when it comes forward. But I have no doubts that you are going to passionately move forward to make this 
dream happen for you, okay? Now let's get some closing advice from Spirit. What is some advice for Sagittarius at this time? What is some closing advice for Saggy at this time, Spirit? Balance. Find balance within yourself. Don't give too much of your energy to a particular person or situation. Make sure that it is even here. And walk away from anything that's no longer serving you, Sag. <clears throat> because this is what's on the other side, okay? You need to... Uh, continue your exploration and your journey here and really follow your intuition, okay? And then we will get some advice from the Making Magic Oracle deck just to finally close it out or finalize the closeout. You have Insight. Healing. Okay, so happy love. It says, <clears throat> a joyful, stable par partnership and good friends. Beautiful. Perseverance. The motivation to keep going despite the odds. Beautiful. Healing. True healing of the mind, body, and soul. Insight. Open the third eye to strengthen intuition. Beautiful. And then we also have triple moon. Embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine and the earthly. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have water. Work with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement. Alrighty, Sag. Well, thank you so much. I hope this helped and feel free to like, subscribe, and share this video if you feel like anyone needs to hear this message. And thank you again. Have a good night. Bye, Sag.